Let's prepare the model for the transfer to VRED. So some things have to be done and the first thing I have to check is the surface normal and that's in surface edit. So when we push that button immediately we can see the surface normal side. So if it's blue then the surface normal points outward. If it's red it points inward. So we see the wrong side. How can we change the side? We just make a rectangle all around the model and all the red ones will be changed. The history will be deleted. That's because U and V is changed and so all the history related commands would be making trouble. So that's why history has to be deleted. I think we have to do that for all the servers. So also in, on the inside because we have a, a width and so there is positive positive on all the sides so we have to check uh, there are some red ones still so I have to click them all also on the other side and now it looks pretty good just one red thing is here you see just change that too and now obviously everything seems to be blue and that's fine so I'm finished with this one now we have to stitch Second point is stitch it before you transfer it. Double click on the command to set a tolerance value. So here, not using construction option, we, we take a more relaxed situation. So tolerance 0 0.2 maybe is okay. Even bigger than that is allowed. I think 0 0.3 would be also okay. Um, but what is important to be sure that you don't have any additional serfs here. So we need each leather band is one stitch and the frame is one stitch. So we switch off the frame first and then we select the first leather band, only the ones which belong to the leather band and then we stitch it. So that was the first one. Now we had setting keep original. That means an additional shell is created. Now I do a second stitch by just selecting the upper leather band so I have this one. Now I have two of the stitches here. So I can put them on a separate layer. So I say this layer is the stitches. Let's say pick object, shell, pick object, shell. And I assign it to that stitch layer. Now I can switch off the leather band. And I have the stitches. And I switch them off too because I need to stitch the frame. And the frame is a huge thing here. So I have to go to stitch once again. And I select all the serves here on, on the frame and stitch them together. Now we have three stitches. This one is the last shell, which has to be on that layer assign. And I switch off all the surfaces and, and switch on just the shells. Now I see all the stitch geometry and that's the geometry I sent to VRAD. So I pick just those shells, the three ones, and I export them or export active and we save it as stitched for export. All right. And now we switch to VRAD. So we need to import now. File import. That's what we have to do. Now we go to the stitch for export and we open. It recognizes it's an alias file and just import it. That's. And here we go. That's our chair MR10 and we and we check the graph. In the graph you can see it's made of three pieces. So the first shell is a frame and the second shell is leather band number one and leather band number two. Now what about the materials? Let's check what's in already. It's just a default shader and a shadow plane and some studio environment. Um, so we need some realistic materials of course and we can find them going to scene asset manager. Now if you're in asset manager there's geometry materials environment. So you go to materials and then just open a little bit and click on this top headline and if you go to the plus sign, then you get all the different ones. And of course, for this uh, chair, we need some leather and maybe some chrome. So we go to leather first 
and we look for brown leather in this case, drag and drop it on these bands. And now for metals, there must be some chrome also. Yes, here we are, and we take it and put it on the frame. And that concludes part number two. Transfer to VRED and visualization in VRED. We will focus on visualization a bit more in part three, but for part three we were looking for a volunteer as an avatar. So let's see if we can find someone.